here this morning, you know. From my point of view, yeah, man. You know, we at it again. This time, we change the location. We come to. It's a regular spot, same here, but um, a little, we, we, we haven't been here now for a little time. Yeah, man, and this man, I'm here in Canada only this morning. You know, because the idea was to come early this morning, but however, the, the energy never did they feel leave out that early, so. Uh, two hours with us, company spot. So, you don't know, we there, we are go out there. As you guys can see, the sea looking good, the wind is low, and from where we stand up here, so the visibility looks good too. Way better than the previous dive, so you don't know. I've on the, the suit already and everything, so wash out the glass, you know, yeah, man, and see what we can catch. No specific fish this morning, anything come across were suitable, we have a hold them, so come with us. With me. This is a flounder. As we reach to the spot, Canada spear a rainbow mackerel. It was a small school of them and he got one out of it. I saw that the spear barely hold the mackerel, but he bring it in quick so I couldn't get to spear it again. The mackerel slipped off the spear. I was trying to give it a second shot, but I missed it. That was a big last, and that was very early out. But I chew your car be too quick. That was a huge green fall, but it was acting wild. water was beautiful, clear right through and this spot is a drop off area you can see the blueness going down to who knows where just in front Canada saw a barracuda moving fast and he made the dive on it. The barracuda noticed Canada following him and turned in a hot hot mood towards Canada and Canada spirit through the eyes. got a good shot so I told him to bring it up no need to spear it again and 
and this was very early as well about 15 minutes after the mackerel So we get that one on the buoy and we move on. This is our next random dive. I saw nothing on this one, only small fishes. So right here I saw a lovely red belly, so I took it. I was on the hunt, so any good sized fish we came across, we would have taken them. Kenado took a shot after a snapper deer, a cabara snapper, but he didn't get it. dive here for a red belly. The red belly head far the deep. He got no chance from it. This job were for a grunt. That was a next miss. This was a nice sized goat fish hanging out over the sun. As soon as it saw me coming, it make a run for it. We were seeing quite a few of these turtle. This was a huge one. I saw some grunts here, so I dive down and sneak close to them. No chance from any door. Regardless of we wasn't seeing any other big fish, 
we were enjoying the dive, the water was lovely. And here is our next turtle. It was two of them. That's the next one in the distance. A lovely red belly here. But it's hard to take a ham hand with this long spear gun. I catch a few red bellies and some quaps half camera do. So we move back to the Japa area and we try our luck again for any big fish. Those jacks were too small though. And here is very close to the exit pipe. So we made a few more dives hoping that we would have come across something. Canada just took a shot after our next ground down there, but he also didn't get it. We were seeing quite a few fish here, but they were acting wild. So I made one last job and I speared this lovely quab. So at this time, I got a decent string. We satisfied with our catch, so we head out of the water. Yes, my paper, so you know, we come out safe and sound. Yeah, man, you know, water. You know, get a little choppy, but okay, same way. Yeah, man, we hunt and hunt and, you know. Ah, darling, we see some nice sized fish, but you know, there are two chances. You can have the only big parade and early on. A school of rainbow mackerel. Came in close and him get one out of and when him take him off his spear, him tore off his spear so that the mackerel the loser the mackerel as well. Yeah, man. But him catching nice barra there. Yeah, man. And see my little string here, you know, you don't get no chance with no big fish. So see what we find here. This is what we find. Yeah, you know. This is what we find. Nice string of nice quab and red belly, you know. 
Nice cob and red belly this me have here so nice little string you know Yeah Get out of over here so Brown and cob and red and gold tail Yeah man and the barra you know Nice barra this uh. I want you to look like him have about well, that's a probably about 10 pounds. We weigh him still. We weigh the barra here, you know? Because the barra is a nice size barra. Bad barra too, you know? Turn back punk in order, you know? Turn back wicked punk in order. You know, just shot him to me, eye. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, we are going to clean up the catch. At least 10 catch you get today, you know? We are going to clean up the catch. So, I don't clean up for my local string as I say. Yeah, man. I never did my go for hunt still, but I never did see no bigger other big fish after we spear the barra. So, I don't know. I just swore a few of these. Give thanks to them, see me, you know? Yeah, man. I want a nice, they on good size. So, you know, I just to finish up the barra, you know? You know? That I say we want to weigh but when you reach up ready scale, we, we, we weigh him and see how much he weigh. Because that one, as I say, I look like about 10 pounds to me. So when we reach up there, we are going to weigh the fish and see how much it weighs. Yeah, so we go up one hill here, one hill here. So scale there, we are going to weigh the barra here, no? see how much it weighs. Let's see. Weigh up this. Alright, scale zero. Under one, no, my, my under one and your over one. Yeah, yeah. me did I say a 10, but mm. a 10 you really wake up, you got come time already. Yes, my people, so I'm at home now and this is the catch. Yeah, man, the lighting was bad at the seaside because 
this one was too hot man mm, so you know some lovely fish here yeah man seven of them nice do some escovish as we may say earlier yeah man and you know, probably about you know I don't even know how much yet, but I want to give my mother two tight same here so I go share them half and half yeah man so you know I'll get the season on these now yeah man and get them ready for the fire well my people last night roast two nice breadfruit yeah man and one left so you know we fry them up yeah man so they so, so they may have some fried breadfruit you know so like how I fry this I don't go bother with the extra beet fish yeah man I just have steamy fish them and eat it with the breadfruit yeah man so change up plan in the long run yeah. Fried breadfruit and steamed fish. So the fish well prepared there, so season up and everything is on it. So just the fire it a cup of them. You know? yeah, man, looking real good, you know. Looking at my pot here. Mm. Yeah, man, this look like I'm ready here now, you know. Ready for the bread. Yeah, man. So see it, look here, people. Nice fish. Some fried breadfruit, you know. Mm. You don't know it going you know. on. That wonderful one I come to an end again, you know. Yeah, man. So, people, just share up the video, them. Thank you for the support as usual. Yeah, man, and that's all I say. We do see you guys in the next one, alright?